RFK53, Communication Engineering. Actually, uh, this is my uh, question from my friends, a non-Muslim. Uh, uh, she asked me this question, but I cannot answer it. <laughs> okay, uh, question is, why uh, Allah, uh, our God, not show itself like another region God? Like uh, she's a uh, God, uh, she is a uh, Chinese. Uh, she know the physical of their gods, and she know about the power of their gods. So why uh, Allah not show itself? Thank you. Ruda asked a question that one of his non-Muslim friends she asked him the question that why doesn't Allah, the God in Islam, show Himself like in other religions? They can see God. Why don't you? Why can't we see the God of Allah in Islam? The reason, in, the reason is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Islam is the true Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he shows himself, you will not be able to live. He's so powerful. And the example we have in the Quran in Surah Taha, then Musa alayhi salam says, Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I want to see you. So Allah says, I will show my glimpse to the mountain. You look what happens to the mountain. So when Musa a.s. turns his head to the mountain, Allah shows his glimpse to the mountain and Musa a.s. faints. That is the power of Allah. He's so powerful that we human beings in this stage, we cannot see him. And the definition of Allah is given in Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say it Allah one and only. Allahu samad. Allah the absolute and eternal. Lam yulid wa lam yulad. He begets not nor is he begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufu an ad. There is nothing like him in this world. The moment you can compare God to anything in this world, he's not God. So any other religious people say this is God. The moment you can compare God, to anything in this world, he is not a true God. This is a four-line definition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God. Any human being, whichever God he or she worships, if that God fulfills this four-line definition, we agree that entity to be true God. Otherwise, it's not a true God. Say he is Allah one and only. Allah the absolute eternal. He begets not noise begotten. And let me ask you a question. Which is the highest reward that you can think you can get, brother? Where's the questioner? Where's the questioner gone? Can you stand, brother? Yes, correct, yes. I'm right. I'm right. Brother, which is the highest reward you can get? Highest reward that a Muslim can get? Jannah. Right? Is there anything higher than Jannah? No. Yes? Someone said yes? Yes? Is there anything higher than Jannah? I think there was hadith that... Just tell the answer. No. Is there anything higher than Jannah? Yes. So tell. What is it? Uh, seeing Allah, uh, the Jannah. Higher than Jannah is Jannah Firdos. Higher than Jannah Firdos is Jannah Firdos Alala. And the highest is seeing the face of Allah, the Vaj of Allah. We as human beings cannot see the Vaj, the face of Allah in this form. But when we go to Jannah, everyone in Jannah will not see the face of Allah. Only those who are in Jannah Firdos or Jannah Firdos or Allah, close to the Prophet, Allah will not show his face always. We would urge, we would desire to see his face. So the highest reward that any Muslim or any human being can get, Jannah is a high reward but not the highest. Jannah is the is high but not highest. It is seeing the face of Allah, the wajah of Allah. So tell your non-Muslim friend that if they follow the criteria of Surah Al-Asr, have Iman, have righteous deed, Exhort people to truth, exhort people to perseverance, she will go to Jannah, inshallah. But she has to follow the rules of the Quran. And if she goes to Quran, if she goes to the higher level of Jannah, if she enters, she'll be able to see the face of Jannah. Eh, we'll be able to see the face of Allah. Every human being 
will not see only those who receive the highest award in the next life, in the year after. Hope that answers the question, brother. Brother, do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Ah, Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. We pray to Allah that may put all of us in Jannah, in Jannah the Firdos, in Jannah the Firdos Allah, and we see the face of Allah, Inshallah.